Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the weekly guitar meeting at Zika's Guitars. Julian here, I am very happy to be back and I hope you are having a good time and you are doing well. I am very excited to show you the guitars of this week. They are truly gorgeous guitars. And please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you didn't do that already. I think this guitar deserves a millions of thumbs up because this is a truly beautiful and amazing sounding guitar made by Jose Luis Romanios, a very famous Spanish guitar luthier. And this guitar is from 1978. And this model is called La Neba. It has the number 224. It means that this guitar belongs to the 200 series of Jose Luis Romanios guitars, which are based on Hausa 1 1936 Bream model. We have here a spruce top on this guitar and beautiful Indian rosewood back and sides. It has, of course, a traditional fan bracing and it's very light. Let's play. Wow, what a beautiful tone and we forget the tone, but the sustain of this guitar is first of all very long and what I have noticed that the sound, if you play a chord, there is not a single tone which is louder than the others. It's very compact and there is nearly no difference in loudness between other between the different tones. It means the balance of this guitar is really really good. But let's play some notes in the higher positions it has an unbelievable sweet and beautiful tone if i hear the tone if i listen to the tone it's like a tone which is smiling all the time. It's amazing. And of course you can create a lot of different colors on this guitar. So it has a very traditional sound.
I love it. What do you think about the sound of this guitar? It's a very harmonic instrument. But I didn't expect another thing from a Jose Luis Romanios guitar. Let's move to the next one. This guitar is for me one of the most beautiful guitars I have ever seen. It looks very simple, but this is what I love about this guitar. You have a very fine finishing and a lot of beautiful and perfect details on this guitar. For example, the headstock. If you see the tuning machines, the tuning machines are planted in the headstock. I hope you can see that on the camera. So usually the tuning machines are a separate part of, a, of the headstock, but in this case, it's very even. It's a part of the headstock. And we have a cedar top on oh sorry i forgot the luthier's name it's made by a very well-known german guitar luthier roland shabatke from germany and i visited her workshop in isalon and it's a beautiful workshop and he's an amazing craftsmanship and this guitar is from 2018 and we have a cedar top on this guitar and brazilian rosewood back and sides. Let's see how it sounds. very beautiful tone and very good sustain and it's it sounds very warm and smooth so it's more a uh, modern sounding guitar than traditional The sound is very detailed, so you can hear every interval and if, uh, every note in a chord. I love the sound. Oh wow. So the response of this guitar is amazing. Um, you can create a lot of colors with just very small movement of, of in your fingers and the sound of this guitar has its own character i would say it sounds a bit different than other guitars but it's a very beautiful thing i can't describe what that is but But it sounds amazing.
What a beautiful guitar. Wow. I love it. Let's move to the next one. This guitar had a very long way to Germany. It's from Japan. And this is made by the Japanese guitar luthier, Yuichi Imai. Yuichi Imai has very high demands in Japan and that's why he cannot deliver that much in the European market. And this guitar is from 2006. We have a cedar top on this guitar and Indian rosewood back and sides. And it has a traditional fan bracing. Let's play some notes on it. The first thing what I notice is a very full bodied sound, full bodied and open sound. And it reminds me a little bit of Kono guitars, Masaru Kono and Sakurai Kono guitars. In terms of the sound, color and openness of this guitar. It's a great guitar, it's very easy to play on it because you can feel the resonance and it gives you a very comfortable feeling while, while you are playing. And yeah, great guitar by Yuichi Imai from 2006. Let's move to the last guitar of this week. And the best way to finish the weekly guitar meeting of this week is to present you a guitar by the one of the most famous names in the guitar making history, Ignazio Fleta. This guitar is from 1973 and it's coming from the golden age of the cedar top guitars made by Fleta. And it has the number 637. We have a cedar top with a nine fan bracing and Indian rosewood back and sides. We have also high quality Rogers tuning machines on this guitar and it's a joy to play on this guitar and I will do it now. Wow, 
beautiful. Beautiful sustain. I mean, can sustain be beautiful? Sustain can be long or short, but for me, it has a beautiful sustain because the like the Romanios guitar, the tones, the notes are very even and very balanced if you play a chord. And this is what you want from a very good and musical instrument. beautiful tone in the trebles it has a very great response to your fingers and very long notes wow It's an amazing musical and harmonic instrument and as I said this is the best way to finish the weekly guitar of this week. I hope you enjoyed the video and the guitars which I have presented. Please make sure to visit also our website. You will find a lot of more information about these guitars and please don't forget to leave a like not for me but for these beautiful guitars and subscribe to our channel if you didn't do that already. And have a good weekend, see you next week.